In this tutorial, I'll explain a tetrahedron problem. The problem is something like this. A tetrahedron of 75 mm side is resting on the HP on one of its edges such that the face containing that edge is perpendicular to the HP and inclined to VP at 45 degrees. Draw the projections. So here, one face is perpendicular to HP. So the face of the tetrahedron is perpendicular to HP means axis is inclined to HP. So to get the simple position, keep the axis perpendicular to HP. When the axis of the tetrahedron is perpendicular to HP, the true shape and size of the base is visible in the top view. So start the problem from the top view and project the front view. So here for understanding this concept, observe the various stages in this problem. So this is the first stage. Here you are getting the top view. From this top view, you will get the front view. In the second stage, this particular face, this particular triangular face, which is visible as a line in the front view, this you make perpendicular to HP. That means this particular line you make perpendicular to the XY line. That is the second stage. Observe here what is happening. When the face is perpendicular, it will be something like this in the top view. This, face, this edge is making 45 degrees with VP. That means in the third stage, you have to tilt this particular edge to 45 degrees angle like this. Then the final front view will be like this. Observe the third stage. Now in the third stage, we are rotating this to 45 degrees. Now this will be the final front view. So this is the total problem. How to draw this problem? Start with the XY line. Take the XY line. As the true shape and size of the base is obtained in the top view, start the problem from the top view. So this is the top view of the tetrahedron. Side of the base is 50. So this is the apex O comma P. So A, B, C are the corners. Axis is represented with apex O and center of the bottom is P. Now project the front view. So here you are getting A dash and C dash. Here you will get B dash. Then this is P dash. Now along this line at some height you will get the apex. To find out that height, so if you observe the top view, these slant edges OA and OC are inclined to both the reference planes HP and VP. But if you observe the OB, this particular slant edge, this particular slant edge is parallel to XY line means this is parallel to VP and inclined only to HP. So that's why this particular slant edge OB will give the true length in the front view. So the length of this OB is equal to this AC that is nothing but 50 because for tetrahedron all the sides are equal and that length is equal to 50 that's why AC is equal to OB. So now that's why take this B as center then 50 as radius draw an arc. So here you will get the O dash point. So this is O dash. Now join O dash and B dash like this. This distance is 50. In the second stage, till this O dash and A dash C dash to 90 degrees. That means somewhere here put a point and call this as A dash and C dash. Then from here draw a perpendicular to the XY line. On that perpendicular take this A dash and O dash distance like this. So that is O dash. Now to get the B dash point, A dash as center, A dash B dash as radius, draw an arc, then take O dash B dash distance, O dash as center, draw another arc. The intersection of these two arcs will give B dash. Now join it, this will be the second front view. Now take A dash to P dash distance, you mark that here, so that will be the axis. Now draw the projectors from the front view, locus lines from the top view and we can obtain the second top view like this. This is the projector of A dash and C dash. This is the locus of A. Here we will get A. Here we will get C. This is projector of B dash. 
from B draw the locus now this is B next this is the projector of P dash this is the locus of P only here you will get P now join all these this is the top view when the face is vertical the top view will be like this this apex is shifted to this particular point like this next in the third stage till this AC face edge to 45 degrees draw a 45 degree line this angle is 45 degrees somewhere randomly pick C dash point somewhere you keep the C dash point after C dash somewhere you mark point C after marking point C C to A distance you measure with compass and mark that here so that is this distance after that C to O distance you measure with compass mark that here this is O now this OB is perpendicular to CA so draw a perpendicular to this particular line AC like this on this line mark point B this is point B now this top view is reconstructed here at an angle of 45 degrees now draw the projectors from the top view and locus lines from the front view and obtain the final front view so like this this is point P now this is the projector of A this is the locus of A dash this is A dash this is projector of B draw the locus from B dash this is B dash draw the projector from C this is the locus of C dash this is C dash now draw the projector from O this is the locus of O dash this particular intersection point will give O dash now join this A dash C dash B dash and A dash this is visible while you are seeing here seeing from this direction the invisible portion the invisible portion is O and C only remaining all are visible so O to A O to, o to A is visible O to B is visible O to C is invisible because this is the viewing direction O to C is on the other side that is invisible to get the axis draw the projector from P logos line from P dash this is P dash this is the axis this is the axis this is the final front view